Hey folks, Daniel here. I just wanted to give everyone a quick heads up that there's an awesome bundle supporting the Black Lives Matter cause, as well as offering over 1,500 games for 5 bucks or more on itch.io. It's only available for 3 more days from when this video goes up, so grab it while it lasts. I highly recommend you to check it out and potentially pay more than the minimum amount, as long as you can afford to do so, as all money is split 50-50 between two different funds supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, both of them well worth supporting. The two funds, as well as the bundle itself, are linked in the comment section and in the description. But with well over 1,500 different titles and more and more being added, I thought it could be helpful to offer some pointers for what might be worth playing first from this expansive list. Titles named here are a mixture between personal favorites and the most well-known and high-budget games in there. I'll keep them short and sweet and link their store pages below if you want any more information. Let's get started. Knights of the Wood Return to your childhood home as a college dropout and meet many old faces and new adventures. Charming, way longer than I expected and very unique. Minute, a minimalistic top-down action adventure game in which you are on a constant 60 second timer for each life. Not perfect, but if the concept appeals to you, well worth trying out. Never song, success of Pinstripe, which I enjoyed quite a bit. It seems to build very well on dark, while somewhat warm style already established by Pinstripe, and was originally named Once Upon a Coma. 2064 Read Only Memories. If you're itching for some cyberpunk but would prefer your gameplay to be calm and mostly text based, this is the game for you. A Mortician's Tale. Playing a young mortician was not something on my to do list, gotta admit, but it's thought provoking and very, very honest. One of the games whose topics tend to linger in the back of the mind longer than you might at first expect. One shot. One of those, if I spoil anything about this, it will significantly limit your enjoyment of it titles. Looks and feels somewhat like Undertale in trailers, but playing it is very much its own thing. Not my all-time favorite, but still very well worth checking out. The Stillness of the Wind. You play as an old granny tending to a farm, living a peaceful, simple life. Letters from those that left for the city are delivered every now and then, unfolding a strange and dark story. It managed to emotionally touch me way more than I expected at first. A normal lost phone. A short experience in which you work your way through a phone you found and try to piece together who once owned it. The game gives insights into a world which most of us are no part of, and while it feels like thinly veiled info dumping at some points, its idea and story hold up pretty well. The success is in the bundle as well, if you happen to like this one. Gutwell. Simple but well executed arcade action featuring a lot of awesome pixel art. And well, it takes place inside a whale, so I gotta give it a shout out. Oxenfree. Mostly dialogue based supernatural ghost story with a strong 80s feel to it, featuring substantial non linear choices. Just full of style and good ideas. I would recommend testing this one out to see if it clicks with you. Old Man's Journey. Join an old man on his slow but steady journey across a lively Italian landscape and learn the bittersweet life he has left behind him. Originally, I only played this one because it was a reference title for a game I worked on at the studio, but I grew very fond of it. A short hike. Exactly what it says in the title, fly, climb, and freely explore is a cute little bird trying to reach the top of an interconnected handcrafted island. Personal favorite of mine, great to lose yourself in for an hour or two. Celeste, challenging 2D platformer where you try to climb a mountain. And it's combined with one of the most honest and well-executed character-driven narratives I encountered in the last years. There's also a very good assist mode, so if you want to see the story unfold but suck at platforming, this one is still worth checking out. Pyre. The characters in here are some of the loveliest bunch I have encountered in all the games I've played so far, Jodariel especially. It features a breathtaking art style, meaningful nonlinearity, high production quality, a killer soundtrack and unique world on top of it all. And honestly, high stakes fantasy basketball meets road trip visual novel is just one hell of a premise. Easily my personal favorite in the whole bundle. And uh, that's it. There's a lot more well worth playing in the bundle, so I can only recommend all of you to buy it, support a good cause, and simply browse and try out anything that looks remotely interesting to you. It should I promise to improve the searchability of the whole bundle, as it kind of grew out of the proportions the bundle UI was expecting ever to handle, but that might still take a few days. I hope I could convince some of you to grab it, and point out, well, good starting points inside of it. If any of you have their own recommendations, feel free to drop them in the comments, I would be very interested to see those. Until next time, bye bye.